the Land Rover Discovery is settling again into its identification after a baffling yet short period in which its ancestor was known as the LR4. With seven seats and unmistakable family looks, that discovery conveys a convincing blend of extravagance includes and off-road ability that gives a false representation of its fast and rural looks. That discovery's motor lineup is clear. Two 3.0-liter V6 motors are on the menu, a supercharged fuel form useful for 340 horsepower and 332 pounds to foot of to work or a turbinsole producing 254 horsepower and 443 pounds to foot of torque. Both are combined with the 8-speed program and an oath for the number of driving modes and changes should proprietors wind up remembering the Oregon Trail. Going 4x4 ramping is as yet the Discovery's distinguishing mark, and this implies a two-fold wishbone front suspension and a multi-link setup in the back, alongside a customizable air suspension that maximums out at 11.4 creeps of leeway at its most astounding setting. Land Rover was likewise ready to press out a 34-degree approach edge and a 30-degree flight edge on account of short shades, notwithstanding an oath for the 27.5-degree breakover point. These qualities, alongside particular driving modes for various landscape, isolate the discovery from the positions of brawny-looking SUVs that get bothered with the main snowfall. This SUV knows how to deal with itself and mow a bore on a UN peacekeeping mission. One more of the discovery's distinguishing marks is the noteworthy inside that offers cubbies and alcoves for a dumbfounding cluster of items. In the wake of going through a few days with the disco, I was all the while finding new places to stow outfit, and new catches. The payload holds bulkhead has switches that work the power collapsing second and third push seats, and also the inside clamshell back end, which fills in as an advantageous roost for watching costly steeds to diverse moves, birded prey chasing or troop developments, in some cases at the same time, contingent upon your zip code. Out of the way and off the street is the place the disco flourishes, and a concise trip through Land Rover's rough terrain course in Vermont, with landscape that takes after a previous World War I combat zone, reconfirmed the truck's rough terrain ability. The disco handled soak ascensions and plummets effortlessly, adjusting on three wheels while crossing earth tycoons, with the diesel giving a lot of energy to climbing a few miles up a mountain along shake strewn trails. The movable air suspension gave the Disco some additional ride tallness, and the SUV took care of the unpaved mountain streets with something moving toward aloofness, while the all-around damped suspension kept any unforgiving effects. It even changed over into a comper later that night with the power raised seats collapsed down. The diesel is the pricier motor choice on the Discovery, however a full tank go more prominent than 450 miles, in addition to boundless torque, and that wobbly motor sound, would settle on at my decision. The Discovery's elements, weight and impression may not be for everybody, that is the reason there are the Evoque and Discovery Sport SUVs bring down in the range, however it's still hard to coordinate the rough terrain adaptability and ordinary driving solace of what Land Rover says is the most proficient 4x4 fan they've ever constructed. Having spent a couple of days and evenings in the Discovery, I can sincerely say they aren't joking, and joking. Ooh, up, up.